everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio and welcome to my weekly live stream. I am live, which is different than a premiere because during a premiere, the video has already been filmed and this is actually live. So like when I do this, it's just happening in the moment. And so you, you benefit from all of that. So there you go. Welcome to everyone joining. I hope you enjoy the, uh, the opening dance party and the comet parade. I, <laughs> I've realized that my shirt, my crop was a little too low and there's, there's, you know what, there's not, there's no, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of wanted to make sure we, we weren't getting, we weren't giving too much of a show. Vicki Donnelly though. Woo. Mm. How do I do this again? Thank you. Um, love my water bottle. Anyway, welcome everyone. Great to have you here. I took the last six days off from sharing anything here on my channel, which felt great. Um, sometimes, you know, I had a couple people ask me, oh, hey, Mari. Hi. Uh, it's Broptional. We're Broptional here. Thank you. Um, I had some people ask me, what do you do when you, you know, don't have any ideas? And I really do take a break, but I really needed just to focus on some other work. And I have a bunch of things coming for you in June, including my studio tour, which is this weekend. I have pinned a comment in the live comment area. And if you want to remind yourself, click on that. It's going to be fun. It's only about 40 minutes long. I think I covered most of the highs and very few lows. Um, the only thing I didn't mention was there are no outlets in this old in this old house, and that's a problem. But I make it work. I make it work. So we are going to get into it today. I'm going to go down to the table here because I wanted to. I want to use polyglaze. Now I've been watching Gina. Last night I was watching. Sometimes I don't leave comments because I'm watching full screen on an iPad, and I don't want to get out of the full screen mode. So I was watching last night. And I don't have the new polyglaze, but I have the old one. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And so I have some extension cords set up here today because <laughs> that's that's my life. My life is all about extension cords. So I'm going to use Delicate Basket and the Radiant Roses. Now, I've had these for a while, but I haven't I haven't used this or this. And the last time that and I also have this, which I love these little sheets but I do have some that are already done and I'm just gonna use what I have done already. So we're not gonna foil those, but I'm gonna set them where hopefully I won't uh, lose them. Um, polyglaze, good question. Let, let's answer that. So polyglaze is a new sort of technology that Gina K came up with. It is a way to get the best foiling that you've ever had done. I don't know what, uh, oh, is there a mini Kathy? What's the mini Kathy? Oh, the mini, um, mink. Okay. Um, I thought there was a mini me somewhere because the other day I, oh, there she is. Gosh, darn it. Oh mini Kathy is gone. Oh, oh my Lord. I'm ready. I can do this. Okay. It's just this stuff, right? And, uh, well, there you go. I, that, that, I'm sorry. It always throws me off when Minnie Kathy is on the screen. And I don't have my computer glasses on, so I'm looking and thinking, what's going on? Okay, we're, we're going to do some ink blending. We're going to bring in, speaking of minis, let's bring in our mink. And you know, it's so weird because like I can't see unless I do this with the computer. But if I put my other glasses on, I, I can't see it. Yeah, Micro Kathy, she's gone now. Oh, my friends, I'm telling you, it's a wild time. I want to welcome everyone who's just joining, and uh, thanks for being here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Misty. It is kind of a heat-activated glue. And what we're going to do is we are going to, well, let's first make sure this works. Nope. Nope. Did I? Okay, that's I is on. There we go. Uh I have this plugged into an extension cord. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, we're, we're not going to go wild today. We're going to start with some foil. Now, for those of you who don't know my patented technique for opening deco foil, you take a, you take a tool like this and go 
like that. No more pulling on the fingers or trying to wedge. You just, let's do that again. Cause that was cool. Just go like that and off it comes. It's amazing. Okay. So while we're heating up the mink and I won't leave the mink on for long cause it's hot. It's hot as an oven in here. It's hot as Hades. Uh, we're gonna bring out some foil and I need to get some scissors. Okay. And then I'm gonna just cut my pieces. Now, oh, I wanna do what Gina did though. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna bring in a fresh Swiffer. Uh, G Diane, do I use all Gina's? I have many things from Gina K. Um, her inks were one of the first inks I ever worked with. Oh, there it is, it's already ready. Um, and so I have a lot of Gina's things and I love them. And today I'm actually gonna use some other inks from Concord and Knife because sometimes you can mix it up and you're gonna be just fine, right? You don't have to use all the same things. Now, did I? Oh, I got very close on that. I don't wanna mess this up. And I'm just cutting with scissors because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need to be super particular. That might not be the best cut, but all right. Welcome, welcome all. Yes, I am live. So anything can happen. Uh, Franklin's here today, but he's a little confused by, I think the hot weather. Um, <laughs> I just don't think it suits him. Um, Cause he's, well, it's, I'll tell you more later. Okay, I'm gonna take this out and I'm going to show you where you can see the polyglaze. See that sort of light gray look? That is the special heat reactive adhesive thing. And that's what we're going to add color to. So I am going to take out, these are the extra shims that I use when I'm doing a different kind of, uh, when I'm using the uh, sentiment strips for foiling, but these don't need that because they're gonna foil like butter. Okay, I'm going to put this in here, okay? And it's gonna be, that's gonna be good enough for my sheet, right? I think so. I don't have the carrier sheet that comes with this. I wish I did. And I'm gonna do what Gina did the other day. She took our Swiffer and now, okay, this is where I'm, yeah, it goes this way, right? We're gonna go like that. We gotta get right over there. I'm gonna cover this, but I am gonna trim this off. I don't need that. But I don't wanna cut my, my sheet and we're gonna feed it through. So let's do it. Now here's the thing with the mini mink. You can use a regular laminator with Gina's product. It works great. Um, I've had this mini mink for probably 10, 10 years. I don't know, I've had it for a long time and I never really did anything with it until I started making cards. Like I tried, I tried to do some things with uh, scrapbooking, but you know, it just never, it just never, I don't know, it just never, you know. <laughs> English language sentence structure. Okay, let's take a look at this and I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of let it cool off, let that heat come. Oh, and I can already see, I think I did it. I think she did it. Let's, uh, let's peel and reveal. <gasps> Foil. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. See that? Isn't that good? Look at that shine. All right, we're gonna set this aside and I'm not gonna do anything with that because I don't need to. But see, here's the thing. That, there's no black toner. There, it, yeah, yeah, it's, I did some foiling the other day in a video. Um, I filmed a video and I'm going to share it. And it just, I tried. And the card turned out really cute and it'll come eventually to my channel, but I just was frustrated with the over foiling. It just, you know, just sometimes, I mean, here's the thing, the hot foil system, which is different than toner based or poly glaze, right? That's a whole different thing. Um, gosh, I'm doing a terrible job with this. I just want to trim it down a little, but this, this type it laminator or heat foiling with this type of foil, um, this is the kind of foiling that is kind of dummy proof. And I like that. Okay. Oh, Diane, bonjour. Il est très chaud ici. 
Aussie? I, I don't know. I'm trying to speak my French. Okay, we're taking this guy. See that pattern? I think that basket pattern is so cute. And again, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I rarely do. <laughs> oh, did I well, you know what? I didn't wipe it all down, but I think that's fine too. Okay. Do you know what, Kay? I have one. I bought a brand new blade roller and I don't, it's right over there. I have a roller. So, okay, we're going to take these and put them away and let's just watch that go through. Well, there you go. I did pretty well. Okay. Now, I think we're going to start out with a little ink blending, then we're going to do some die cutting, then we're going to do some more ink blending. And Linda, yes, they're very nice scissors. And Cynthia, yes, it's the Swiffer cloth. See, okay, now I can turn this off because we're done. No more heat. Let's put this on the floor where it can't add heat to the room. Okay. Lovely. All right, let's come here. And again, I just want to show you that beautiful, beautifulness. And oh boy, get ready. Get ready to rumble. That is foiling perfection. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink blend on this. So I'm going to set these pieces aside. Okay. And I'm not going to use the little leftovers uh, for any reason because, you know, yeah, my breaker. I wondered about that. I seriously wondered when I plugged it in because there's so many things plugged into this uh, studio space. It's a, well, it's a bit much. Okay, let me grab, oh, I didn't get my brushes. Hold on a second here. I'm going to get my well-loved stencil mat and I'm going to get my brushes, which I think, yeah, here they are. I'm going to cover, cover the cover the ladies. Okay, so I've got my blender brushes and I, you know, I have them all in this little thing that I put a Lazy Susan on. This is from uh, Make It by Marco. Make It by Marco. Now, let's, this we'll deal with in a minute, but we're going to start out with a blend. I'm going to get my little ink stand and also welcome. Welcome for everyone who's just joining. It's nice to have you here on this fine, well, it's a fine day. And today I am going to be using colors from Concord and Knight. Okay. And I turn into, yeah, the polyjuice potion. Can you imagine? I, I would eat some of Gina's hair. Isn't that what you do? I don't know. Yes, Laura, this is a polyglaze sheet. Now I'm just cleaning my brush for whatever was on there last time. I don't wash my brushes anymore and we're going to add some color. Now, excuse me, I am going to cut this down a little so it's not going to be, excuse me, this full size. Um, and yes, this is my waffle flower stencil mat. It's very stained from using hot pink, hot pink ink but I think that's fine. And now we're just going to bring on this color. Now I will tell you, pink lemonade is a beautiful pink color. I've kind of become a little obsessed with it, which is why I wanted to use it today. It's really, really pretty. And too, you know how sometimes when you get new inks, you want to kind of break them in and see what's happening. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to play with this. I've used it a number of times and I just think it's lovely. And we're just going to go down the card, not the whole card. We're going to, we're going to stop right here. And of course the foil will resist. Hey Libby, what are you doing here, girl? Libby. All right. I'm bringing in nectar. Now this is a really nice little color. Oh, let's go like that. Um, yeah, it does look peachy. Actually, the way the light's reading, I, did I grab the wrong? No, I grabbed the right brush. It is warm. It's a soft, warm color. But I find that sometimes the lighting in here can be a little wonky too. Although I don't know. Maybe that's, it really, it really is reading peachy. Well, let's see what happens with nectar. Because I wanted to have a really soft, um, peachy color. 
I didn't want bold orange here, so we'll, we'll see how this reads. All right, bringing this in, the nectar. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. That's gorgeous. See the difference now by bringing in something that is actually kind of peachy, right? You can kind of see that. It makes the pink sort of come alive a little more. All right. And that's what we're doing. And then, too, I can come back up here and deepen this a little. You know, I can go back. It's very, very soft. Okay. I like the nectar. That has more color than I thought it would. And thank you for joining today. If you're joining from places all over the world, it's uh, it's exciting. It's very exciting. I, I'm happy to have you here. And I, it felt really good to take a break. <laughs> really good to take a few days off from sharing videos. Um, I also was working on the next issue of Scrapbook and Cards today, which just the summer issue just went to print yesterday, which means I sent all the files to the printer. And uh, today I worked <clears throat> this morning on getting all of the web stuff ready for our website. Well, I don't upload it. We have a wonderful web manager, Jen Walker, and she handles all of that beautiful stuff. So the other thing, too, that I really like about this surface, it just, it holds your paper, and I like that. Now, I want my buttercup to be light, too, so I'm coming in from the bottom. You know, just kind of a light hand. You know this is my favorite, well, you may not know. If, you've, <laughs> if you're new to me, um, pink into orange into yellow is my favorite combination. I think it's so pretty, and I, well, yeah, it's my favorite. It's my happy colors. All right, again, keeping it soft and light. And I'll just overlap where the nectar was. Like that. Now, where's that orange brush again? I think I'm gonna bring this down a little with the, whatever nectar's just left here. Hello, everyone, welcome. I see your comments coming through. Good to see you now. The cool thing is, look at, okay, here we go. We can, we can do this. Look at the shine. So the shine is there. Ooh, look at you, Kath. Okay, now I'm not going to cut this yet. And I'm going to put these away for a second because I want to cut these things out before we actually blend. All right. So let's take this. From a time standpoint, I have no idea <laughs> how long I'm going to be here and how it's all. I mean, like in general, from a cosmic standpoint, I, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. You know, I hope it's going to be a while. <laughs> Let me get my tape. Okay. Now, oh, yes, the stamp wheel, too, is really great for blending. Now, I have not done a ton. Okay, here's what takes me literally so long because I... I know those are the same, right? I should have put little marks on here, but there we go. That didn't take long. Oh, look at me, look at me. Okay, so we got that. And I'm gonna cut this with a little tape. I'm cutting first because I don't want to muck it up. And that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Oh, hey, Bridget, I'm glad. I love Beth Adilly. She's a good, she's a good egg, that girl. That woman, I love her. It's funny how you make internet friends, right? She she is a she is a she is a cool chickie. And I think she's got a really wicked funny sense of humor. I think she's very dry and she cracks me up. So okay, we're gonna cut these out. Now, which one goes here? I'm just gonna what's so nice is that Gina really did set this up <laughs> so that you could do exactly what I'm doing, which is Get all of your florals, right? Well, let's do that one first. Get you here. And even if it's not like perfect, perfect, actually, let's do this one first. It's going to be just fine. Okay. Lining that up. Mm, press you down. I guess I could do this on a plate too. So I just refreshed my plates, and I wanted you to know that because... You know, I learned this plate sandwich from Jennifer McGuire, and it is the best sandwich for me and my Gemini. Um, you, you take a clear plate, 
and you take one of their double-sided die plates and you tape them together, right? And one of them is your cutting plate that you cut into every time and the other always stays smooth until your plates start to look really marred up. And then once they're super marred, you untape, you flip this guy over to get more cutting out of, a, out of the other side while always keeping the top plate nice and neat and tidy. And that, my friends, is the hard work of the one and only goat, Jennifer McGuire, which is why I always link to her video because I wish I, I, wish I knew that, but I don't. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn on the Gemini cam today. I'm so sorry. Well, we, uh, we aren't going to be switching, so here we go. We're just going to run that through. Well, and the thing is, too, I see a comment from Diane. The thing is, it really depends on your plates, right? If, if your plates or the pressure in your machine, if the pressure in your machine, where did that one go? There we go, is way high, then it causes problems, right? So so it really is a, a, play, a play by ear and kind of see what works. I'm going to put that there. I think all I have to do, I'm just going to cut these all out so I can pop them down and we can do some ink blending. All right. Uh, am I lined up? I think I'm well enough in there. There we go. Okay. There's you. And you guys come up here. I do want to do all my greenery. Oh, Kathy, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Sometimes I don't look up and I really appreciate that. That's so kind of you. I appreciate that. All right. Coming in, lining you up. Okay. Oh. All right, taping you down. So yes, I'm always cutting into the same plate, but I flip my plates to run them through. I know it's it's it's. But I'm. But here's the thing. Um, it really has worked so well for me. Now I'm going to tell you something, all of you people out in YouTube land. Um, I do have the Gemini two in the house. I have not really set it up for real use yet. I've been playing with it. There are plates. Oh, hey, Andy, how are you? There are smaller plates for the Gemini 2, and I am going to, they're not on sale yet, but I'm going to get my hands on some of those and give that machine a workout. So I'll let you know um, because they did send that to me, and I'm grateful for that. Okay, that literally just fell off. This is I'm telling you what. Okay. Okay. Franklin is here. He is, um, you know, he's in his, he's in his teenage years. He's, um, he's outside right now, um, on the front porch, not outside. He's on the front porch. I open the little window for him so he can go out and have the best cat TV ever. And, uh, you know, he's just doing his thing. Okay. I'm going to take this now and flip, All right? That's it. And then I, again, sorry I don't have the cam set up. I just didn't, forgot to turn it on. Oh yeah, he's fine, Kelly. He's great. He's just a teenager. Franklin is my grandkitty for those of you who are new to my channel and he is the best cat in all the land. And I wish he was mine. I wish he loved me the way he loved loves my daughter, but he doesn't and that's okay. He loves me, but he doesn't, you know, love me. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm putting these back over here for now. I don't have these on a magnet yet, but we are going to add color to our cuts. And this is, this is the way I, this is the way I roll. I don't think I want the smaller leaves, but I'm not going to get, did I just, yeah, I'm not going to, well, I'm going to set that over there. That's for another day. Now put you here and I'm missing one. There we go. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a piece of, well, no, I don't need a piece of paper. This is going to be great. Hold on. <laughs> yes, Franklin's fine. He's good. He's a cat. And uh, he, he's, he's very pampered. I recently bought, um, do any of you know that brand Love Nala? I recently bought him some of the squeeze mousse, the fish. It literally smells like the worst thing you've ever smelled in your life. It just smells like fish paste 
and um, we give that to him. And my daughter's like, listen, you cannot make my cat spoiled. I'm like, no, 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 not me. I, I won't do any of that. Um, but the reality is he's, he's, you know, he's getting a little spoiled. Okay. I'm going to put my flowers. See how nice that looks? So now I have shiny flowers, right? And we're just going to add a little color. We're going to add a little color to all of them at once. I'm going to repeat some of the color. And, you know, I think I'm going to use my smaller blender brush for this. All right. Oh, school. Oh, merci. And Veronique Jolie. Je m'appelle Catherine. Well, I did do Duolingo for a while, so... I love the French language. I believe it is just such a beautiful, oh, it's just a beautiful language. Okay, let's see. We're gonna add a little color. Here's what I don't know. Um, these really do hold this pretty well, and I, I just wanna make sure that my roses have color. And actually, this would have been a great example of using the stamp wheel. I should have done it. I didn't think of it. That's because it's in a drawer. And if it's not right by me, I don't think to use it. Oh, that looks kind of good, though. Huh. I may not actually end up using another color on I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. I brought another color out. I brought honeysuckle. But right now, I mean, I'm just, I'm just adding some color. See, they do, they do hold to the sticky map, or this map pretty well. All right. That's like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little extra color. Uh, the stamp wheel is from Altenew. You know what? I, I'll i show you. Mm. Um, so, this is the stamp wheel, and this is the sticky mat, and you can you could put things on this mat and it will stick too. I mean, it's just another sticky surface, but I think the stamp wheel has more uses than people even realized once they got it. I just haven't, I just haven't really gotten my stamp wheel legs and I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working, I'm working on it. We'll see. All right, I don't know why I went in the direction I did with these flowers, but here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I like that better, actually. Okay, I've, I've got a plan. Famous last words. I got, I got a plan. I, I do. All right, here's what we're going to do. You guys go up here. And which one feels like the... See, this feels like a very clear base. I'm not sure. Does that... I'm getting ink all over. Um, all right, we're going we're gonna to make you darker at the base like that. There we go. You need a little. And here's the thing. I feel like with flowers like this, you don't have to be a master of light and shadow uh, to, to make it work. You know what I mean? Just, you know, just start blending. Um, this is Easy C tape. And I always get the pink. And it is my favorite low-tack tape. I was going to say it. It's my favorite. I love it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good. So here's what I wonder. I don't want to get too carried away with color. I did bring in something a little darker, but I don't, I don't think I need it because I have some honeysuckle. Hmm. <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah, that's me. I'm going to see here. Let's just tap a little there. You know what? You know what? Let's just, let's bring a little in just for a little depth. Oh yeah. Look at that. Pick that up. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. See, it's just a just kind of like that. Okay. And I'm going to do it too from here. Now, some, some people might just go in from the center. In Minnesota, we have this way of saying, you know, a lot of guys wouldn't do it like that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, yes. Altenew makes the most beautiful roses, Ellen, don't they? Oh, okay. But I like this because this is giving it the depth that I was kind of looking for. And really, you know, I, and I don't know if I'm using all these, by the way. Okay, that's really pretty. All right, I like it. And I'm gonna leave it kind of light at the top, I'm not too worried about that. And now let's um pick these friends up. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay. Let's clean this off a little. In fact, you know what? 
I'm going to bring in some alcohol, cover up what I'm working on because this works so well for just wiping stuff off and color. There we go. Look at that coming right off because I'm going to bring in green and I don't, I don't think that I want to, uh, you know, darn tootin. Yeah, Minnesota, it's funny. I, um, I've lived here for 32 years now. I'm born and I'm born and bred in the Pacific Northwest, but I sound more Minnesotan than my husband, which is kind of funny. Okay, we're coming in now. We're going to do our leaves really quick. I am going to grab a little brush and Oh yeah, the sticky mats, they're wonderful too. I have several of them. Um, I have the Brutus Monroe mats. I have the, um, what is it called? The uh, Simon and Brutus Monroe pairing. Uh, love those too. And here we go. Uh, I just saw someone that talked about Stamp Will, but I'm telling you, um, uh, JC Gaspar, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name, he has a really great video on the stamp wheel. And um, if, if my lovely moderators remind me, I will uh, I will link to that. There's one that he did that I just thought was so good. Okay, so we're just coming in the base here. I am going to bring a slightly darker color. So I guess I'll just do that. This is Sprout from Concord and Ninth. And I mean, if I were using Gina's inks today, which I'm not, I would probably do like a jelly bean green um, and then like a fresh asparagus. I think those would be really similar. All right. Oh, come on now. And just light. For cleaner, for, for the Brutus Monroe, yes. Brutus Monroe makes a cleaner. It's called, I have it here somewhere. Oh, gosh, that was my knee. I have a scented one and this smells so good, but they make a squeaky clean matte mist cleaner and it's like a different kind of cleaner. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't take all the sticky off. I mean, they're consumables, right? They're meant to over time, you're going to have to replace them because they don't, they're like a cricket mat, you know, they don't stay forever, but they're pretty great. Um, ah, yes, I'm a Pacific Northwestern person too, but now I sound more Minnesotan. So there you go. Okay. And again, glad to have you all here. I, I don't know how exciting this is today, but oh, now see, that's a, that's a firecracker of a color. So we have enough that we need here. I'm just diffusing. Okay. And then we'll just bring it in. Oh, that's very dark. That's way darker than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. That's why you diffuse, right? You just pop it off there at the base. Oh, but I do like that, right? It has some nice my pads are so juicy, like they're just brand spanking new. And uh, all right, that's that's what's happening. Okay. Look at me taking color off my mat like I know what I'm doing. Okay, done. Well, maybe. Are we done? Done. Now, <clears throat> uh, how's it going so far? All right, we're going to slide you up. I just don't want to handle these too much. I don't want my fingers showing up on here, but these are really nice, right? It's a nice little, little, little thing here. And again, we're going to clean this just with a little alcohol. And actually I don't, I don't really need to use paper towel for this, but I, I think my stamp chamois is completely, uh, dried. I don't think it's done much lately. Okay, so we have that. Now we have to move on to the portion of the video where I share. Now, where did I put that? Oh, here we go. Okay. We're going to get out some of the greetings that we've already done. This is before even designing. Oh, bye Rosie. We'll see you soon. I think it could be nice. I could do, I could do so very grateful. A birthday wish would be nice because honestly, I always have a need for birthday cards. So let me figure out which one is the birthday one. Is it this one? Is that? No, wait. Oh, I can't. don't know which one it is. Turn it around. The one that dips down. Is it that one? Yes. All right. I'm going to make some backups, you know? But here's the thing. When you, when you do a whole sheet of the polyglaze, you just save everything, right? 
cut it out, and then I just put my greetings in the pocket with the die, and that way I know, right, that I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, so let me grab, for sake of quietness, okay. I'm just gonna use my little trimmer right now to do a couple cuts, because I want to build up some dimension. Uh, so that instead of popping it up, I'll just have a couple little friends here. What, what, what cardstock? There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. Cut this right in half. Like that. And I'll use my little baby, my little baby trimmer. Pop that down. Bottom plate. It's so, right. It's so cute. I I use. I've been using this more because it is. It's a cute little guy. And, you know, it, it works really well. It cuts nicely. Oh wait, no, it goes this way. There we go. I always forget which way it goes. Okay, um, K, it basically is a laminator. I mean, it works in the same, um, you know, the same technology. Let's make sure that's the right one. Yes. Yep, okay, let's build some dimension, people. It, it yeah it it does it, it does things <laughs> it makes hot all right we're gonna make maybe four layers and yeah it heats up so much faster than a regular laminator uh, you know like an office laminator I have both I actually have three laminators total I can't remember um, I have the Royal Sovereign which is huge and works great. Um, and I have, let me take another little piece here. I have a regular office one that my hubby uses for all of his uh, laminating needs. He's a teacher, he laminates. Um, but the, uh, the mink is great for crafting. And I never felt like I needed the big one, but that's because I, you know, I don't do scrapbooking stuff with it, so. Yeah, that, that would be why. Now, as I'm looking at this, I almost wonder if I should bring in a little of the honeysuckle. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right, let's take this last piece out. And let's pop you. I just had my pick. Where? Okay. The excitement, right, of, of, of layers. Oh, speaking of excitement, there is something exciting coming. Um... I am teaching at an event in the November, I think it's in November, I'm teaching at the Scrapbooking Cards Today holiday event. Reg registration, general registration opens tomorrow. Jean is going to be there. I think, Mari, aren't you there too? It's going to be a great event. We are going to have a blast. It's going to be holiday themed and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. Um, I feel like I want to bring in just a little more depth of color. So I'm going to see what's on my brush and then I will wipe this away. Well, there's not much on the brush. Yeah, that's a little, right? That brings it in a little more. A little. Like that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. Now, let me grab a dive. <laughs> Anyway, scrapbooking cards today, holiday event. I will be teaching. I will be there. It will be lovely. Now, I know I should glue some things, but here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a crop of this, and I feel like I shouldn't die cut this until I'm completely sure what I'm doing with this. So let's bring these over, and let's, <laughs> let's glue them together. I'm just going to use my liquid glue. Um, oh, the holiday event is... Uh, Mari, help me understand. Help me remember. It's cards. It's paper craft. It's a. It's like a combo. I think we're doing all kinds of things there. Um, oh, hold on. I need a piece of. Here we go. Yeah, we're doing all kinds of things there. Um, and Mari, because you're, are you teaching? You're not teaching a card class, are you? I can't. I should know. I should have looked at this, but um, I sent a link out in my newsletter today. And also, if you are not a subscriber to my newsletter, well, I'd love to have you. Um, we're going to use Gina K liquid glue. Also, I wanted to show you something. I bought a little pack of pins um, 
because my bead pin, it's great, but like I can't, I just want to see if this is going to work. And so I'll let you know in about two weeks. Susan, the event is online. It is an online event because, um, oh, <laughs> there you go. That's why we do it on paper. Get out of there. I do not teach at in-person events. I just do the online. And that's okay. You know, you got to get into your boat and you got to steer the boat in a direction that works for you. And I used to teach in person in the old scrapbook world in the olden days, back in the days of yore. And it was too much for this introvert. Um, I, I'm pretty good at talking to people on the internet. Like I can, I can do that six ways to Sunday, but when I get in front of people, um, I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just realized it might not be the best for my mental health. So that's when, uh, Okay, see, Rhonda, I'm wondering, are they going to rest? And if they do, I'm going to be super bummed. But, you know, I'll, 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 I'll let you know. They, it said stainless steel. It said stainless steel. And I hope that it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So here we're just building our dimension, right, like this. But, yes, it's an online event. I just, you know, the online events for me... They let me come into your living room or your craft room or your dining room or the corner, wherever it is you craft. And uh, I love I love it. I think it's super fun. And it makes, uh, well, the one thing I like about online events too, I feel like it also enables people who couldn't maybe afford to do the hotel, the dinner, the flights, you know, going to craft or scrapbook shows like uh, CKU, that, that was expensive. I don't know if I would have been back in the day, I don't think I would have been able to afford that. So, uh, Bonnie, I'm curious, what class did you take from me? It must have been a CKU. I'm guessing. Could have been. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, here's the thing. If it starts to rust, I have my bead top. Gosh, now I'm just worried because I know this won't. You know what? I might just not test it. <laughs> okay. By the way, what are we doing? We are building up dimension. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're going to do it. Give us any chance. We'll take it. I wrote a song at one of the Crop and Create events, I think, and I changed the lyrics to that, but now I can't remember what they were. You know, Laverne and Shirley forever. What can I say? I grew up in the 80s. Okay. Well, I mean, I grew up in the 70s, but you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, thank you, Emma. You're given all the info. Um, I will tell you it's a heck of a value. The kits that you get from Scrapbook and Cards today are kind of next level. And uh, it, it's, yeah, it's no joke. There's a lot of product. And also we try to think, at least in my class, we're going to have, it's holiday themed, but I am working with um, Lisa Hetrick, who will be designing the set. And we're making sure that there can be something beyond just holiday. So, hey, Barbara, welcome. Oh my gosh, Melissa, CKU, CKU Atlanta. You know, it was fun. And I was, I, I loved being with the people. I just always felt like I was going to pass out. Okay, we're getting close. Now let's see here. All right, I have my greeting. See how that has that nice dimension? Looks like a piece of shiny chipboard. Shiny, shiny chipboard. All right, set you there. Okay, here's what we need to decide. And that is... I know I could, I can have this be larger, but I do want it to be smaller for my note card. So I'm going to come in here, zoom in a little. See, here's the thing. One of my uh, least confident skills is arranging f flowers. Um, it's just like hard for me. And so what I'm going to, what I'm going to try to do here, I want to try to figure out an arrangement that is attractive <laughs> as opposed to unattractive, right? And I'm going to do that right now. Now, I could have done a little small. I do. No, I didn't do smaller leaves. That's okay. Because I don't, I don't know yet what we're going to do. But I think the crop that I'm planning is going to be just lovely. And then we'll have a... Where's my sticky picker up or... I think it's going to be lovely. We're going to make it work. We're going to make this work. So pick you up. You'll be like that. And then there'll be another leaf maybe coming up here. I don't know. 
and maybe uh, another one up here. Maybe I do need to turn this, but I didn't want to. I want to have them kind of coming down here. So these are, this is a hard for me <laughs> to do greenery. It's always been, but I, I feel, I feel we have an idea. Okay. So in general, maybe what I need to do is do one that goes down the side more. Well, th thank you, Nana B. We're, we're hoping this is going to turn out. I, I'm going to cut it first. I can't do this until I can have it trimmed. So let's cut it down, cutting it down. All right, here we go. We're trimming. We're getting that cute pattern. That's all full of shine. And I will grab my plates. You would put the flowers below. Yeah, I, I, you know. Oh, how long does it take to plan a class? Whew. That is a good question. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. Um, I'm going to cut this out real quick. And I think I'll just run it straight through. It takes a lot to plan a class. Because you want to make sure, right, that you're using the products right. That's number one. Um, and... Yes, smaller blossom in front. We're going to do that. And I'm going to get some foam squares. We're going to, it's going to, you know, I never guarantee a card's going to happen, but I think, I think we got this. All right, here we go. That's the crop that I'm looking for. Um, it does take time to plan a class, I, you know, but it's, it's such fun work. Uh, CKU, <laughs> that stands for Creating Keepsakes University. Hold on just a second. Um, I want to do something first, all right? Oh, come here now. I got to get some foam. Hold on. Oh. Creating uh, Keepsakes University was a uh, an event put on by Creating Keepsakes Magazine, and we taught scrapbook classes, and it was it was a hoot nanny. I'm just gonna say it. It really was. Um, except it was all in person. So, yes. Oh, <laughs> well, there's no score tool. Well, that's great. Um, I use a brand called Dazzle Dry. Dazzle Dry. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to use this. Now, I bought the Score Buddy 8s and, oh, I lost it. That's right. It fell out. And I wasn't sure if I liked this or not, but here's the thing. I thought that it was making me score my paper crooked. It's not, it's not the score. My paper is actually cut wrong. And I ordered myself a whole ream of Nina, Sol, Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And it's cut incorrectly. But by the time I realized it, I had already been using it for a while. And I thought, you know, it's, it's just too late. You're not going to return it. And that does happen. Oh, yeah. Um, so my paper is off. See that right there? Well, it's, it's very subtle, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. Roberta, I do not. I, I stopped using Olive in June when I, when I went all in on the Dazzle Dry um, because Dazzle Dry doesn't stain my nails at all, and it lasts really long, um, like really long. Like I, you know, I do a lot of work with my hands all week when I'm making cards and videos. Now, granted, I painted this yesterday, but um, it, it just lasts a really long time and my nails have never been stronger. In fact, this is going to sound crazy, but um, I haven't broken a nail. Uh, <laughs> I'm jinxing it right now, but I haven't broken a nail since I went all in with uh, Dazzle Dry and uh, that's over a year. So it's kind of crazy and I love it. It's expensive and it's a system. And at first I thought, yeah, I don't have time for this. And now I'm like, 30 minutes, my manicure is done. It looks great. And most importantly, it's like dry, 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 dry. And yeah, so it doesn't, I don't have to sit around and wait a couple hours. Now they don't have as many beautiful colors that I, that Olive and June have. I mean, sometimes I look back at those colors, um, cause my daughter borrows a lot of my Olive and June. Um, and, uh, I miss that, but I don't miss the staining of nails. And it's just a thing. Some people's nails stain, some don't. But uh, uh, Dazzle Dry does not have nitrocellulose in it. Um, nitrocellulose is not bad for you. It's just what causes staining more than anything. It's not the color of the polish. It's oxidization that occurs on the nail plate. I've learned.
learned a lot of things. Okay, yes, and if your cardstock does this, look, I just got a little bit of schmutz on there. Well, you know what? The reason I wanna do this first is when I can see my margin, it's gonna make me better. Yeah, Mindy, you know, you're using Dazzle Dry. The dry time is crazy. Like five minutes after your top coat is on, you're dry and it's no joke. And I'm gonna stand up for a minute, so please forgive my head. We're gonna get that as centered in our wonky cardstock as possible. Yeah, does that look good? I think that looks good. And release. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, the science behind nail polish. I mean, again, I, I love nail polish. I love painting my nails. It's very relaxing for me. Um, Olive and June is a company that I adore. Hold on just a second, I need foam squares. Okay, come on now, come on. Okay, I'll just grab some randos. Um, they're great people and I love them, but I just decided to uh, just kind of switch. Okay, I saw Barbara say put the little one in front, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put some foam squares on, and I don't know yet what we're doing, okay? But if I put one of the little ones in front, I want this to be a little higher up, you know what I mean? So maybe, and I might do three, I haven't decided, but I'm gonna just put one there. <laughs> I just jumped into the, there's a ghost in here. Um, I want that to be a little higher up, and that way I can also see, actually, let's, let's give that a little more support. Where's the darker part? Um, let's put you there, I'm not sure yet, but okay. You're there, and you're there. I should have done some of the little, little ones. Hey, Mary Gunn, what you doing here, girl? Okay. Or woman, <laughs> should say that. Hey, girl, hey, woman. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just arranging. I don't know yet. Um, do I want to have another one? Well, let's, let's try it. Literally not my strong, strong suit. Um, but you know, I uh, where did that go? <laughs> the case of the missing foam square, all right? I had one and it disappeared. Okay, let's try this. Now, these are the um, ones that are a little uh, more popped up. So I'm just, again, I don't wanna go against the grain of the shadow. So, <laughs> hold on, we're coming. Oh, like I don't, this isn't, okay, I love, I love, I do love the greeting, okay? So I'm thinking, what if the greeting, oh, come on now, Kathy, there we go, come on. It takes a minute, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Do I need more than two flowers? Do I? I'm gonna take a drink, because there's only five minutes to go. Mm. I don't know if I do, I don't know if I do, okay? But yet, look how pretty. I don't, I hate to waste it. What if I did one, uh, let's see. I mean, okay, that in the center, you know, it's, it's, what do we think? Two flowers. I mean, that's not bad. That's pretty cute. Um, maybe the thing is, this just needs to be a little more over here. Oh, I think we did it. Just two and did I need to do a smaller one? Do you think, do you think that is part of it? Like, should I really quickly do a couple? Hmm. 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 Oh, the third flower could go inside. You know me though. You know me. What if I, okay, let's just, let's just for, let's for entertainment purposes. Let's just do this real quick. Hold on. Where did I put my BB? Where did you go, little BB? Oh, here you are. I love this little guy. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta go for it. You know, you gotta go. It, it's coming. We're gonna, we're gonna do little ones. Um, where did the dies go? There you are. No. Yes. No. Here. Huh. Are they here? No. Okay. Hold on. They're right here. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, okay. I know, you all have good... Th see, that's the thing. The thing I love about card makers is everybody's got an idea and they're willing to share. And there's no judgment. Nobody's angry if the idea doesn't get used. But I'm just going to do this real quick, okay? Hold on. We're going to take... Is that how it goes? Or am I doing it wrong? Um, hold on. You should work. No, you go that way. There we go. Sometimes, and I do this too when I'm making a card... You know, I just keep going until I get what I want. And that's that's how we roll. Okay, you, where's the plates? Okay. Gina would put the stem on the bottom. Yeah, I know. See, I could do that, but I really am going to try. Oh, that is very cute, though, isn't it? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe we'll do that. What would Gina do? <laughs> uh, Gina, I love you so much. I love you. Okay, we're just going to do you. And then I think for fun and for adventure, I'm going to cut this friend out too so we have a few more extras. So I'm going to go a little longer than an hour. You know, sometimes you got you to gotta do what's needed. You know? Okay, that's probably good. Let's just tape this down. Let's get them. So we have a few extra things, okay, little baby? Oh, Kelly, but at this point, oh yeah, she would add black. Hey, now you're getting a little carried away. Gee. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I have a few more. I have a few. We're gonna pop you out, pop you out, and you. Okay, now I don't wanna lose these, so let's put those over there for cleanup time. Let's grab a piece of paper, and I'm going to grab my little brush here. It, it's so messy in here. Where did my green... There we go. Okay. I'm just going to do this real quick on the mat. Maybe we have enough on there. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe. It's not bad. That's not bad. A little more. Kind of hard to hold that in place. Okay, not bad, all right? Now, if I wanted, where's my pinky? I mean, I could just add a little pink to this, this bloom. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I forgot to make the base green. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna use that little friend. Okay, I'm gonna wipe you up. Like that. But this does give me enough and I need a little more here on the edges. I just wanted to see what it would look like with a little extra green with a smaller flower, but I do need to cover the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Flipping. You <laughs> I love it. You could I mean, again, there's there's always choices. Mm. I love it. Okay, where's that spray? All right, I'm just gonna clean this really quick because I know I'm gonna put my hands all over it. All right, here we go. Now, here's what I wanna show you. Let's bring it back in like that. I need my pick. This is, this is one of the reasons I love this little tool. So then we take this little friend like that. Nope, get in there like that. And this, all it's giving me is just the right amount of greenery. And what kind of works with that is then there's five. Is that, is that gonna work? And then a birthday wish for you can go right there. Actually, I think that's really pretty. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I like it. Now, how do I do this so I don't forget where everything is? I know <laughs> there's the... <laughs> Oh, Kathy, so much goodness. Okay, take this off. And we're just going to place. So that one, oh, you just slipped. That one you know is there. Okay, slide you out, slide you out. Look at me. I'm like a, I'm like a highly trained professional. I'm telling you, it takes me a while to get arrangements. It's just, it just does. And that's okay. 
but now that has a little there. And now I can just glue these right on the inside. Oh yeah, Barbara, so here's a funny thing, press and seal. I've seen people do it. I never, I, I think I've tried it a couple times. <laughs> Every time I do it, it's a mess. It's just like, I always like, oh, you pushed it too far. It just turns into a hot, hot mess. All right, you're going there for a second. And now I just put these in like that. Actually, I should be using my tweezers, but right now I'm just feeling, I'm feeling the joy of my fingers. Boop, right there. This one I might though. Uh-huh. See, you gotta, you gotta just stick with it. And Kathy, I get it. This is, this is me too. I, flower arranging is not a super strong skill for me. However, um, sometimes, you know, right? I just knew did I just put that on backwards? It's fine. No, I didn't. It needed smaller leaves, right? It was just not quite working, you know? And so that's what you do. You just, you just keep working it. And then hopefully magic ensues. All right. I'm going to pick you up like that. Come on now. Oh, get under there. All right. That one is beautiful there. Pressing down. And we're almost there. We're in the home stretch. I am going to place an order, by the way, for uh, some of the new uh, polyglaze stuff because I have a lot of those stencils that Gina has. And oh my Lord, are they beautiful. Like, it's just beautiful. I think that's fine. I think this is good. And actually, that gives me a little space to add some embellishments as well. Okay? All right. All right. So that's good. We can even still wiggle that a little. Maybe you get up there. I don't know where I put that glue, but here we go. And we'll just put our liquid glue on the back here like that. All right, we're getting there. We're there. Whoo! let's see how many people we have. How many people sticking around? Hey, that's pretty good. It's pretty good for a lunch hour because I, I am literally busting into your lunch hour, but here we go. A birthday wish for you. Head in the way. I want it to be like that, side to side. Sure. Sure, look at that. Oh, it's so sweet. I'm coming up a little, just a little, because I want those, I want it to kind of touch the leaves. And then I'm gonna press it down. And what's so fun is it's so shiny. It's very shiny because you have shine all over the card. Look at that. Not pretty. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put this on here for a second. I think that's straight enough, right? That looks. There, that little guy's here, and I need to pop this open if I can. I will. And we're gonna add just a little shine. Just a little shine there. Oh, again, I want to remind you if if you're so inclined. Do I have any little babies? I love the little babies, but they're so hard to find. Um, oh, there's one. I love those. Hold on. I got to put you out there. Love the babies. Uh, I am going to have a studio tour on Saturday. And I've got a link in the comments that's pinned. And I would love to have you. Also, these, these can just go into my little bin where I keep things which you will see on my studio tour. It's not that, I mean, it's really not that exciting, but I do have a bin and I put things in the bin and the bin, well, the bin is life. Okay. So here, this is what's kind of fun is I can take, I can take and fill in right there, right? Oh, so cute. And then here, look at how cute these little, little friends are. They are hard to get on the, come on. Let's see. Nope. 50% 50, 50 chance and it's just not going to do it. Hold on. Got to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. There's the little guys are just so cute. Okay. One more up top. Oh, thought I had it. Gina said last night in her live, the key is to go straight down on pearls. Oh, she's right. One there and one up top. 
yeah, the tour should be good. Should be good. I'm excited to share it. Is it perfect video footage? No, I'm not a videographer. I mean, like I can do this, right? But I, it's, it's, it, it, I, I had a lot of stops and starts, put it that way. And then I said, Kathy, you got to get over this perfectionism. Nobody cares that you are not Martin Scorsese. Okay, we're going to boop it up. And then I've got one more little thing to do to this card. Let's go with See, here's the thing. This, I actually really like this. Boop. And I wasn't sure. I was not sure where it was going. Do you know what I mean? Like, I I thought we were gonna have a we were gonna have a, a, a non a non-card day, but I boop. and that I that's a happy accident to just fill in a little white space. I didn't I didn't plan that. I didn't plan it. And yet, here we are. Okay. And this little friend, see, that's very Minnesotan. I never said Ope, O-P-E. Boop. Oh, shoot. No, I don't want that there. I want it to slide a little. I never said the word Ope before I moved to Minnesota. I can, I can guarantee you that. Okay. And this is our finished card project. One thing to do, though, and I'm going to do it real quick. I think I am going to put my old pen back in here because this one... This bead pin that was sent to me by this lovely lady who sent me this, um, it's never rusted. It's been great. Although I did label my bottle. Don't ask me why. I was in a labeling mood. I am going to take one thin foam square and I'm going to put it on a pin. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm going to give a little bit more dimension. Hold on here because I feel like this little friend here, and it doesn't even matter if this isn't stuck all the way. Oh gosh, how do we do this? We're gonna lift. Oh, I know I can do this. There you go. I just want a little more separation. There we go. See that? I don't know if you can tell, but it just gave a bit more of a shadow. Oh my goodness gracious. And that is my finished card project. I really love this. And I thank you for your feedback because I think I would have tried to. And again, I'm not gonna put anything on the inside because I. Oh, it's Shakespeare? Well, it's just Minnesotan to me. Isn't that funny? Everything here is, oh, oh, okay. But look at that. All right, that's it. That's a finished card. And here's the beautiful thing. Woo, look at me. It's it's very hot in here. May I hydrate for a second? Mm. What do you think, Tim? Hey, Laura. What about you, Gina? What do you think? Sometimes I like to make cards with Gina's things and send them to Gina and just tell her how much I love her. Anyway, that's our finished card for today. I'm on fire because it's really warm in here. I'm going to take some photos of this. I'm going to post it. Um, also, I have a lot of videos coming starting, well, after the studio tour, and then we got a bunch of fun things coming. So uh, studio tour, got something for you on Monday, got something coming midweek next week. Oh, and that one is super fun. Um, lots of good stuff. So yes, um, the origin of the water bottle. This was given to me by Vicki Donnelly. She made this for me. And, uh, I have to tell you, um, I had ice in this last night and I went to bed. When I woke up, there was still ice. I don't know what it, this is made of, but the insulation is fantastic. Mm. And I could definitely use more hydration in my life. So I really appreciate it. Anyway, um, Saturday, 10 a.m. Central. Come join me for my studio tour. You can always catch it on replay as well. Again, is it the best studio tour you'll ever see? No. Is it fun? Eh. Um, does it show my space exactly as it is today? Yes. And hopefully... You'll find little nuggets here and there. You know, this is not a custom-built craft room. This is a house that was built in 1918. I have done a lot in a small space, and I'm so glad that I moved everything up here. So thank you for watching. And again, I'll post some pictures to the community tab. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, although most people here already are. And if you don't get my newsletter, there will be a link in the description as well. Sign up. You know, I'm going to bug you. I'm going to bug you in your email. It's, it's, it's all good. So 
until next time, until the studio tour, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you back here with card videos soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.